In this tutorial, I'll show you a bit about applying materials to objects in Live Interior 3D. Just like adding objects, materials are applied by dragging and dropping them onto surfaces in the 3D view. The collection of more than 1500 materials is located in the Materials tab of the inspector and is broken down into categories. We're first going to change the material of this armchair, so let's open up the Fabric category. Once you find a suitable material, all you have to do is drag and drop it onto the part of the object that you wish to change, in this case, the cushion area of the chair. We can change the material of the armrest, that is, another part of the object, in just the same way. Aside from being dragged and dropped, materials can be applied in the inspector window. When an object is selected in either the 2D or 3D view, you see the included materials in the section labeled Objects Materials. In that same section, select the material you want to change and click on another material below. This helps when one needs to be precise in changing the material of a certain part of an object. Just below this section is a dropper icon that matches materials. To use it, just select a material in that list, select the dropper, and, in the 3D view, click on the area with the desired material. Now let's find a good material for our walls to make them look nicer. Materials on surfaces such as walls, floors, ceilings, and wall panels have what are called texture transform options that appear right under the dropper when such a surface is selected. Here you can change the width and height, offsets, as well as rotate the texture. Look how quickly we've transformed a plain interior into something more exciting. All that is left is to do something with the floor. Live Interior 3D includes materials that have reflective qualities. Why don't we take a look at the polished laminates and apply one to our floor? And one last word of wisdom before we come to a close. If you find that the supplied materials aren't ample enough, you can always create your own in the Material Editor. Well, that should get you going with materials. 